Do you hate nofap urges? <laughs> well, most people do. However, urges are actually good for you. And in today's video, I'm going to share something interesting that might just be what you need to finally get that aha moment that turns everything around for you. Scandinavian Bob here, hi. This channel is all about reducing anxiety and discovering interesting biohacks and self-improvement tricks in order to build a stronger self. So consider subscribing, click on the little bell icon and let's get going. Okay, so now a lot of you are wondering, how the hell can urges be a good thing? They are what makes me relapse again and again and I even get anxiety from them. I hate them, so what do you mean? <laughs> well, fair question, and I'll explain in just a few seconds, but if you haven't heard this short story, you need to hear it first in order to really get this. An old Cherokee Indian is teaching his grandson about life. A fight is going on inside me, he said to the boy. It is a terrible fight, and it is between two wolves. One is evil, he is anger, envy, sorrow, regret. Greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, and low confidence. He continued, The other one is good. His joy, peace, love, hope, kindness, empathy, truth, faith, and confidence. And you know, boy, the same fight is going on inside you and inside every other person too. The grandson thought about it for a minute and then he asked his grandfather, which wolf will win? And the old Cherokee simply replied, the one you feed. Now, if you have read even just a little bit about the brain, you know that that story exactly mirrors how your brain works. For every activity you take, you are building neural pathways in your brain. And the more often you do an activity, the stronger that pathway becomes. It's strange thinking about it really, but you are literally building yourself to become a certain way. And every time you are presented with a choice, you can either strengthen or weaken your prefrontal cortex. Perhaps you remember from my previous videos that the prefrontal cortex is the part of your brain that is responsible for self-control. So now you say, okay, great. But why are the urges good? <laughs> well, think about it. When you are hit by a craving, you are also presented with a choice. You either relapse or you stay strong. Well, you should know that it is that choice that is the rebooting. It is in the choosing that you are building your brain and yourself into becoming that person you want to be. If you are feeding the old you, then it grows stronger. But if you choose to feed the nofap wolf and you don't relapse, then that wolf grows stronger and the old you becomes weaker. You have to have urges in order to recover, because without the urges there is no choice on which wolf you should feed. Think about it, if you are sitting there and playing a video game and everything is fine and you have absolutely no urges, then there is also no choice and no food for none of the wolves. Ah, so if we need urges in order to grow stronger, then of course urges are good if you feed the right wolf. And you should also know that this is of course not limited to nofap. It is the same with procrastination, smoking cigarettes or any bad habit where you are presented with a choice of either staying strong or falling for the instant gratification. But here comes something even more interesting. Did you know that they have done studies and found that people who have successfully overcome an addiction have a bigger and stronger prefrontal cortex than those who never had any addiction in the first place? Wow, yes! Now in the middle of an addiction, the prefrontal cortex is weaker, but as we are presented with urges again and again and again, we also get that choice to grow stronger again and again. And if we successfully feed the right wolf and we overcome the addiction, the result will be a stronger control center than normal people have when we are recovered, that is. So if you used to relapse on, say, for example, Sunday, don't be scared on Saturday thinking, oh no, I hope I don't get urges tomorrow. Instead, 
take a piece of paper and draw two columns. One is for your nofap wolf and the other one is for the old you. And every time you feel a craving you take a pen and you literally draw a small dot in the column of the wolf you choose to feed. <laughs> or if you don't want to think of them as wolves, just imagine your future self and your old self. And imagine that that dot is protein powder or something that makes either your future self or your old self grow stronger because that is exactly what is happening inside your brain so now let the urges come enjoy the fight and i'll end by asking which wolf will you feed okay i hope you found this video informative and for even more tips on how to stop relapsing on nofap check out this video right here here, as I get emails all the time from viewers who stopped relapsing after watching that video. Alright, this is Scandinavian and Bob signing out for today. And remember, as Winston Churchill used to say, if you are going through hell, keep going.